Hello, hello, hello again, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a while. It's been a long while since we last played with me and my Optima UHZ65 in the screen. What you're looking at right now is DVR from off of the screen here and I'm gonna talk you through some reasons why it's been a while for me I was kind of upset with Mr. Crow for a while because I didn't know that I had to send these uh, projectors in to be updated I thought that they could be updated uh, over the internet or through the USB port but with patience, great customer care from Optima, they really took care of me. Uh, they got my machine back to me in eight days after sending me the box and having it turned in to them. Found out I needed a firmware update. So what I have before you right now is one of the HDRs after I did a calibration after receiving it back. And that's because, unbeknownst to me, I had to do this uh, firmware update to where it's at right now, C11, um, C07, and C03. Those were all outdated. But, I am current now, and I must say, I am still tickled pink in reference to this Optima uh, UHZ65. Um, arguably, of all, uh, Optima has about the best overall stable of DLP 4K projectors under $10,000. Now I did look at some expensive, uh, more expensive projectors in the 20k, but um, in my environment for what I'm doing and what I needed, uh, this was the happy medium that I came to, and the one reason I chose the UAZ65 is due to the fact that I don't have to change out lasers, uh, uh, or, or the laser doesn't have to be changed out for after 20,000 hours. Or I don't have to change out a bulb as you do on the other two. So I got asked that question. Uh, some of the things that I did notice while calibrating it. Um, the color wheel sinks faster um, as the light speed uh, grows up or spins up right now. I did notice no RBE on my unit now. Uh, the sound stage is uh, m much truer. But that doesn't count for me anyway, because I hook up everything through my sound system. Uh, the colors look amazing. Uh, less digital and more natural with an analog touch. So like I said again, right now you're just looking at pure UHD 4K. Okay, I'm going to give everyone the uh, settings that I chose. And how did I get to these settings? Uh, because again, I will uh, show later on, um, all projectors need to be calibrated. They are not right out the box, accurate, period. The red, the green, the blue, to rec 709. So I did find that out from not just the Optima's projector, but I also had the Sony projector, the BenQ projector, the Epson projector, and um, uh, the uh, Runco uh, projector, they all needed calibrations. So anyone who tells you that they don't, I mean, hey, you can see for yourself. Uh, when it's uncalibrated, it doesn't look as real as this. Uh, this is like, hey, you're right there at the footage of when this thing was actually made, okay? So, I mean, hey, everything is crisp and detailed here. Stay tuned. Enjoy. We'll have more. See you when I see you.